Hola. Hola. Bienvenido. 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 Do it again. So quick. Bienvenido. Bienvenido. I've been trying to learn hello and welcome in Spanish. Clearly the kids have got it and I haven't. But hello, welcome and good evening on a lovely Saturday night in our first weekend in kind of lockdown here in Brisbane, Australia. So we're doing our sip and paint tonight. Um, it's Saturday night, so I've got a glass of wine. I've treated the children to my tuck shop, so they got some Pringles and some fizzy drink, and we've just gone out, I don't know if I show you up there, we've just gone out and got pizza. So we're having pizza here. I've got Daisy, Harry and Thomas, and my husband, David. So we'll be interacting with them, and obviously we don't have to be socially distant because we're all in the same house. So I couldn't have my gorgeous ladies, but hopefully they're going to paint from home tonight. Um, <clears throat> so what's been, hap <clears throat> what's been happening today? Well, today in Queensland was the um, local elections, which is all a bit random, and there's been a huge heated debate about whether we should have had our local elections because obviously we're supposed to be socially isolating. Hi, Liana! Liana was one here last week. Um, <clears throat> David and I took it as an opportunity to go for a nice walk, so we walked down to um, the furthest school away at Payne Road, and we took Daisy with us. Uh, we took our hand sanitizer, enjoyed taking photographs as we went. Some of them I'm gonna use for next week's classes. And um, it was fine, actually. I have to say, the way they set up the polling booth, they'd had one booth, then they crossed off another, then they had another one, so you, you were completely socially distanced. Hi, Christina, hi, Kelly, hi, Anastina, welcome. A Axley's ready to go. Oh, that's awesome. Axley, I used to teach oh, about two or three years ago, and then you moved to Payne Road School, didn't you? So, uh, cousin Brenda is watching, David. Brenda Cause is watching from Cornwall, having her brekkie. Hi. I won't shout out all the highs because it rolls too quickly, and as you know, I get a bit fuddled. Anyway, so we did, uh, we did vote, um, and then we had a nice walk back, and uh, this afternoon we have been unpacking boxes. Um, so we are ready to go tonight. The kids are all excited. Um, let's take you around and just say hi to everybody. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Solitaire. Here we go. You're right. And my gorgeous friend, Leanne Webb and Price, who I went to uni with. Absolute gorgeous friend. Fabulous dancer. We did some crazy stuff at uni. So here is David. Good evening. <laughs> and here is Harry Bessel with his pizza. Here is Daisy Bessel, woohoo! And here is the teenager of the family, Tom Bessel. He's absolutely devo that he's here. Um, that's Australian for devastated. He's devo that he's here. His friends don't know, and luckily none of them have Facebook. But of course, I'm sure Cheezle Muncher will join in and she'll be able to tell Ryan. And then Ryan will be able to tell all the boys that uh, <coughs> Thomas was here painting with his mum. And why shouldn't he be? Hard. Okay, actually Thomas used to do loads of art with me when we were young anyway. Samantha Bennett's watching. Hi Sam from the UK. Okay, so we're going to get into it. Well, hopefully this painting's going to be about an hour. Like I said, it is a painting that is going to honour and support Spain today. So, oh, my sister Nikki Lever's here. Mwah! Love you, Nikki. Auntie Nikki's here. We miss you heaps. Hi, Joe. All right, stop talking. David's like, <laughs> David's face is like this. Oh, I didn't come to watch you talk. Well, that's part of me. Take me as you find me, hey? Um, so yeah, we've done, obviously we did Venice for Italy. We did um, the beautiful Netherlands painting the other day, the Vincent van Gogh. And today we're going to do Pablo Picasso to support and send our love to the Spanish contingent. Um, there, we, we're a couple of weeks behind you probably. Um, our figures are going like this. We're hoping our figures are gonna go like this, but you know what? We're all in it together, as they say. So let's get on and get start painting. Now, like I said to you, you can paint on anything or draw on anything. Even, the, even if you hook into these art classes, you do not have to paint, okay? Even if you've only got a pencil at home right now, find yourself the back of an envelope there at breakfast and have a little doodle. You'll find that it's quite rewarding and quite fun. Okay, so I'm using a canvas. I've given all my family recycled canvases. So I'm just gonna put this in the right space, which is about there under my lamp. And I'm gonna make sure that I've got something behind because it kept on falling down earlier. All right. I wanted to show you, for those that didn't see, I'm gonna show you my bottom right now. Are you ready? <laughs> da, 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 da. Boop, boop, da, boop, da, boop, da, boop. <laughs> 
kids are like, for God's sake. I just wanted to show you that you can paint on anything. And I painted Pablo Picasso. No, I didn't. I painted Vincent van Gogh on this skirt. There we go. And so even if you haven't got a canvas, find some old clothes and paint on that. Here's my t-shirt I painted. And I even got the textures out and did the starry night on my boots. So you absolutely do not need to have an art kit to get creative. You can get creative any which way you want, all right? Let me just suit up and boot up. Sorry, David, I am getting there. We have, I have asked David, to, sorry, Solitaire, we are coming, I am coming. I have asked David to put some music on. I asked for Spanish music, but it sounds like we're in the Bronx somewhere. So I'm not quite sure what kind of Spanish music it is. It was supposed to be kind of flamenco-y, but we haven't quite got that. All right, so let's go. We're gonna start off, if you're painting, if you're not, <clears throat> just start drawing, okay? If you're painting, find the smallest brush if you've got a selection of brushes. So I've got a couple of square brushes and a couple of round brushes. If you've only got one brush, just use one brush. It really doesn't matter, okay? If you're using a pencil, get your pencil ready. We're off. Okay, here we go. Let's have a drink of wine. Getting a bit parched already. As you know in Sip and Paints, and as you know with me, we don't draw with pencil if we're painting. We, pe we draw with paint. So with your little brush, I want you to dip it into your purple. If you haven't got purple, use blue, okay? Something in that nature. Don't try, try not to use black. Black's a bit heavy. Hi, mum, I know you'll be doing this later. You'll catch up, but if you're ready to go, I'm ready to paint with you, darling. Okay, let's go. So here is the center of my paint. Here is the center of my canvas. Top and bottom, side to side, in the middle. That's the center, okay? The first thing we're gonna do is paint an oval. We're gonna paint an oval. So to paint a nice oval, I'm gonna roll my hand around and around to get a nice shape before I put my canvas, my paintbrush on the canvas. Ready, one, two, three. I drop it down and I paint a nice oval. Not too wide, not too wide, just flattish. Why are you laughing, Daisy? You've gone massive already. No, okay. Looks like an egg. Well, it doesn't matter. Do you know what the great thing about doing Pablo and Picasso is? You cannot get it wrong. He was bonkers. He was more bonkers than me. He painted eyes that went this way and eyes that went this way. And this painting, which is of um, musical instruments, something really uplifting, it's all over the place. So if you get it wrong, don't panic, okay? Okay, that said, we're now gonna, so this is the start of a saxophone, okay? So from the left-hand side, and mum said to me yes, uh, yesterday or this week that, when I do it because of the camera, it reverses it round. So this is my left-hand side, people. So whichever side it is for you at home, your left-hand side, okay? All right, so I'm gonna do an S shape, okay? I'm gonna do an S shape, but I don't want it to be a really wide S, it's a slight S. Ready, here we go. So I go down and I'm curving and I stop. So it's just like a swoop. Like a beautiful, well, like my figure, really, if you think about it. It's like, <laughs> Daisy's like, David! Oh my God, David's face was like, nah. That might be in circa 1920, yeah. Um, anyway, a nice swoopy curve. Mine's a little bit more bulbous now, more like a guitar, but uh, that's fine. How you doing, Deeps? I did a sip and pet. We've only done two lines. Okay, Thomas. All right, here we go. So from the other side, you are going to follow that. It's, you're basically creating like a vase shape, I guess, like a vase shape. You're gonna go, but not too close. So we're gonna go out, in a little bit, and out. But finish it a, a bit higher up than the bottom, okay? Don't finish it right at the bottom. Finish it a bit higher up than at the bottom. Ooh, ah, boop, ba, boop, ooh, ah, boop, ba, boop. Don't get drunk on your coat, Daisy. Come on, stay with me, baby. No, just a little bit Yeah, just a little bit higher there. All right? Okay. Do I need to check yours? Are you okay there, Thomas? You're 14, rolling on the way to 15. It's all right. It's all right. Just a little bit higher. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Now I'm starting up here. I'm starting higher than my oval up here. Okay? Yep. I guess if that's my quarter and that's my quarter, let me just mark them the halves way. I'm right in the middle of that quarter of the canvas. Right up there. Okay? Uh -huh. And I'm going to go up, down, all the way, and I'm going to join it to that curve. If 
Hi, Helena. How are you? Are you painting? Give me a thumbs up. David's giving me a thumbs up. The guy's nuts. Thumbs up. So we've started up. Oh, shoot. Nearly lost you. Uh, we started at home a challenge Olympics. Obviously, we're only in day two of lockdown. But we're already stir crazy and driving each other nuts. So we've looked around the house and everybody is allowed to devise a challenge. Hi, hi Sky. Hi, Ivy. Don't worry, you haven't missed much. Hi, Becky. You haven't missed much. Look, you can just copy that as I go when I tell you about my challenge Olympics. So we're doing a challenge Olympics. Everybody's done a couple of challenges and we're going to start putting some pre uh, prizes and some um, points together. So what have we got so far? We're having a game of pool, we're having a game of table tennis, some darts. We've got David's dad's old dart set that we just put up. We're going to do Monopoly, always a good one. I'm drawing, that's fine. Just drop the pencil, beautiful. I'll be dropping mine later when my wine kicks in. Um, yeah, uh, I think we're also going to do a TikTok challenge, so watch out for that. I might actually put that on. Fuzzball, because I picked up a second-hand fuzzball ta table, as luck would have it, before coronavirus, for a little bit of, I don't know, $80 um, off the buy and sell, and I picked up a pool table as well. So that was pretty cool. Hang on. It, both of the, I think the pool table only cost me $40 from the salvos. So awesome. Hiya! Hi, Dennis! Right, let's go. So... The next one we're going to do is a parallel line. It's going to follow that line and then it's going to join here. This is the bottom of the sax, people. So we're going to go down. And as we get down there, look, watch me. It gets a little bit wider and rounds at the bottom. So it starts thin, widens up. Just need to, my, my, I'm a bit worried my um, easel is going to slip. Beautiful. Less talk and more action, I reckon. David's like, yes, please. Yes. Okay, a little bit of a circle there for the mouthpiece. Pop that in. And then we're going to do some funky buttons. So our funky buttons are ovals. You can do them however you want, but they get bigger. I'm going to do three. They get bigger as they go down. Bigger as they go down. Becky's going to work out now, but she's going to catch up later. Grace wants to use her new paints again. Fantastic. And you might join her. Woo! Go back. Enjoy your workout. We had a little walk in that earlier. I'm trying to do a workout each day. What? Is yours bad, is it? It can't be bad, it doesn't matter. Okay, we're now gonna move over to this space and in here we're gonna put a guitar. A guitar is not difficult, people. It is just the shape of eight, okay? So I'm gonna ask you to think about it this way. We're not gonna do the guitar up and down. We're gonna do it this way, okay? So watch me before you do it. Let me just have a quick look. I'm going to go here and I'm actually going to paint the number eight. Okay? Paint the number eight at an angle. Do not go over your saxophone. Off you go. Paint the number eight at an angle. So you want to paint sideways, Harry, rather than straight on. How are those buttons? These are buttons. They will be. It's a funky Picasso. They're just round circles. Just round circles, babe. Don't challenge me on it. It's all good. Okay, everybody at that point, I'm gonna keep going. <coughs> Where you've got your figure eight, you now join from this bit of the curve, you just join that with like a little bit of a smile and you do the, uh, the same on that side and that gives you your guitar shape. That gives you your guitar shape. And then inside the bottom of this figure eight, you're gonna do a circle and that's the center part of your guitar. Super easy. Just shapes, that's right, Daisy. A lot of art is just shapes. Good job, Harry, you're doing a good job. Can you do me a number eight over here? So you need to do a figure eight. And then you do a circle in the bottom part of the eight and you just join them up. Once you've done your figure eight, we're gonna go forwards with a big rectangle. This way. We're gonna go right up here. So I'm gonna start from here. I'm gonna go right up. I'm gonna go right up, right to the end. So my rectangle goes behind my, um, sorry, Thomas, can you see? You're, yeah, I can see. Right. Um, so I'm gonna go right up, I'm gonna go right up. It doesn't matter if it's perfectly square, it's a really, really long rectangle. I guess it's more like a satan. Hey, Cheezel Muncher's here, Thomas. Tell Ryan to come, Cheezel Muncher. I got Thomas painting. We'll embarrass him in front of Ryan. There he is, woo -hoo! 
<laughs> I've brought all the family in. They've got snacks and pizza. So I'm making them paint tonight. Okay, so we've got our guitar in place. We've got our saxophone in place. Now we're gonna do a clarinet. Okay, I'm just gonna tilt that up a bit. The clarinet goes up at the top and it, you don't see all of the clarinet. So it's a bit like a really long triangle. So watch me. I'm gonna go, I follow the canvas, I dip down and then I bring it up. What's the matter, Thomas? David? Oh. <coughs> so I, this is your clarinet and you're gonna put your clarinet buttons over the top again. It's the same sort of thing, ovals and a mouthpiece. So we've got our saxophone, we've got our guitar, and we've got our clarinet. Come on, don't, don't mess around. No, no, I'm not, it's actually, I'm trying, I'm trying. Really Look at my face, epic fail bringing my family, epic fail. I'm trying. Mom, I need you, Pam in the UK, I need you. <sighs> Daisy, stop! Is yours really bad? You're on the art extension program, for goodness sake. It should be brilliant. Daisy's had too much sugar. Man. She's had too much sugar. There's no hope. David, I can see yours looking... Yeah, I can see yours is looking really good. Okay, now the bottom bit here, we're going to put in a piano. I just want to show you in behind, just here. Can you see? This is a... Um, what is that called? A double bass? Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is a double bass that came from Hilda Road and they asked me to paint it up for their music uh, concerts. It's actually broken, so I've got to get it fixed to take back. But this was kind of done Picasso style here and then I just did a sax player. But this is the sort of piano that we're going to put on it right now, all right? So we're going to put a piano, we're going to start over this side nice and wide and it's going to go under our sax and over the other side. Hello Annette, have a Becca from Holland. Mwah! Gorgeous lady. I absolutely loved Ruben's Corona Monster, so let's hope you, one of you does this. I know you're a, a closet artist, Annette, so let's get those paints out. All right, let's go. So I'm gonna start here about this wide. So I guess I'm 10 centimeters up from the bottom left-hand corner. I'm starting there and I'm gonna draw a curve. And guys, you can make this curve go however you want, but we're gonna curve it down around the bottom of the canvas like that. And then you're gonna start from the bottom of your canvas and you're going to follow the curve, but I want you to get thinner as we get to that end. So we, we want it to get thinner as it gets to that end. <laughs> I've got Siri B saying, I think my paintbrush is too thick. It's not looking much like yours. Do you know what? Don't worry about it. If you're drinking a wine and you're having a bit of a laugh, okay. Oh, yeah. For the next one, we're going to do another one um, Monday morning so that the UK can do it Sunday night or Northern Hemisphere can do it Sunday night. Perhaps try and find some um, pen, uh, paintbrushes like this. Anyone in the gap, if you haven't got materials, then I'm more than happy for you to borrow mine, okay? Use it like an art library. I'm more than happy to give you a little art kit so that you can do some painting while we're on lockdown. I'll make sure it's in a little bag at the front of the Baptist church and perhaps you can come, just sign for it, borrow it, and then drop it back to me when all this uh, craziness goes. Okay, so here we go. So you've got your um, piano at the bottom. We're just gonna mark it into keys. So vertical lines in any way you want so that it starts wider here and then as we get closer, the lines are gonna get thinner and thinner and more closer together. Okay, we're not gonna paint in the details of the piano, we're just gonna leave it like that for now. We're just trying to mark in all of the drawing part of our painting. Now, as you know, with Picasso, he, or those of you that don't know with Picasso, he really liked to create, he was a cubist. Um, and a cu the cubism movement really liked to look at the two dimension, uh, two dimension, no, he, he wanted to create three dimensional paintings on a two dimensional um, canvas. And so to do that, they chopped things up and twisted them like a cube. And that was kind of the way it was really. So. We're gonna do our choppy cubist lines right now. The first line we're gonna do is a big um, sort of semicircle. It's gonna swoop, it's like a big smile. It's gonna go from here and it's gonna go right through our guitar and up the other side. Okay, it's a big semi, a big swoop or a big, yes, Daisy? Mine go through the top of my side. Sure, it's fine. Doesn't matter if you get, get everything gets slightly different, that's okay. 
If your paintbrush gets too dry, guys, when you're drawing lines, just dip it in the water. You'll find you've got plenty of paint in there. Okay. Now we're gonna go where our saxophone is here, and we're gonna go use this bit of the curve here to be the curve of a heart, and then brew the other side of the heart and bring it in. So you do a heart that sort of intertwines with the mouth part of your saxophone, all right? With the mouth part of your saxophone. And then behind that heart, I'm gonna do another heart. All of us can do heart shapes, I'm pretty sure. So I don't need to demonstrate that. And it doesn't matter if your heart looks different to my heart, that's absolutely fine. Sure, I'm, while you're doing that, let's just take a little walk and see everybody's sketches behind us. <laughs> everybody's like, now. Of course we do, that's the point of it. Okay, so walking around to see Mr. Bessel. Bessel Senior, oh, very nice. Looking very good. Are you particularly happy with what you've done, David? I am, I think I need a, a few more beers. A few more beers? Improve. How's the teacher, David? The, the teacher is excellent. <laughs> Harry Bessel, love, love, love. Look at me, how are you doing? Don't let that pizza go cold. It's bad, oh don't, love. Look at me, it's gorgeous. All right, Daisy. Daisy's got paint there, so Daisy gets paint everywhere. We've gone for more of a... Yeah, it's all gone pear-shaped there. Thomas has gone for a very small guitar. Are we more like a mandolin or ukulele, I think? But that's okay. The pipes are peace. Like I said, it doesn't really matter how these look. You know, at the end of the day, a cubism picture is very, very individual. And um, that's okay. So it doesn't matter. I'm proud of you all. Yay! And we're doing this as a lovely family activity. You could be doing it with your family. Yeah! So all you need to do, um, if, you have a, if you're just being a voyeur and you're just watching today, well, that's fine. Watch away. But if you want to come back and do it with your family, I'll be saving this um, video and you'll be able to... Thomas, Jack says hi. He went... Ugh. He didn't actually, he didn't do anything. He just went like a 14 year old. You know what it is like, Annette? You don't get much, do you? You don't get much. Okay, so we've done that. Let's just finish these last lines. Okay, we're gonna put one line. Ooh. The space between your um, smile line here and your guitar, I want you to just break it up with just a couple of curves. Doesn't matter what the way you do your curves, just break up that space. The reason why we're breaking it up is that we're gonna paint all the different sections in different colors, which is very um, stylistic of a uh, cubist painting. Okay, then here we wanna break up this space here. So I'm just gonna do a line across there and I'm gonna do a curve line there. Okay, so I've done a straight line across there and a curved line there. And then where we've done our bottom heart, and it doesn't matter if your bottom heart is in a slightly different place, we wanna create another patch of color here. So I'm just gonna break it up and I'm gonna go in, and I'm gonna go out, and I'm gonna go out. It's almost like doing a little star, a little star in that corner just to break it up. And then finally, and I know this is gonna be a bit of a challenge on yours, Thomas, because your guitar is quite small, but if you wanna make it large, because we haven't painted it now, now's the time you can enlarge it. If you want to keep it small, that's absolutely fine. Like you like small, that's fine. But we we're basically going to go from in the middle of our guitar, and I'm going to do a section line that goes through the back of the guitar and down towards our um, piano. All right? And that's our drawing part done. So we've done the hard work there. That's our drawing part done. We're now going to start painting. Now, to paint, you can choose what any colour you want. If you don't want to do the same color as me, then don't worry that you can choose anything. Um, but what I would say is when I change color, you change color as well, okay? Otherwise, you'll end up losing the cubist effect. We're gonna do some blending on the canvas as well, so keep up with me on that one. But let's start. Now the trick with getting a good painting is to start with the pale colors first. So I'm gonna start with yellow. If you haven't got yellow and you're using white, a pale orange or a pale blue, whatever is your lightest color on your palette, is the, that's the one you're gonna start with. And I'm gonna go to my larger um, round brush. If you've only got the one brush, like uh, my friend that's painting, um, then that's the paint brush that you're gonna use. 
When we swap between colours, make sure you give it a good wash and a wipe. I've got like a, just a kitchen face cloth. These are what I use for my sip and paint. So if, you have, if you've got an old flannel, not many people use flannels these days. My nan used to put us in the bath and my nan used to give me a flannel wash, which now I think is rank. And actually with COVID-19, who on earth wants a flannel wash? It's just revolting. But anyway, she used to give us a good old flannel wash, stood up in the bath. Sorry, mum, but she did. Okay, so sorry, Harry, yep. Yeah. This is, in Australia, it's called a face cloth. In England, it's called a flannel. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna dip it in my lightest color. For me, it's the yellow. And the, I'm going to paint inside my saxophone. Inside my saxophone. I'm using the larger of the round brushes, Harry. If you don't feel comfortable using it, then use your small brush. Don't go over your lines. This is all about painting in the lines now, kids. You went over the line, okay. Trust the 14 year old not to conform and not to follow the instructions. What can I say? That's the way it is. Hello, Gripper, how are you? David, Brian is in the house. That's my brother-in-law. Lovely to see you, young man. Hope you're having a nice coffee and a, uh, a biscuit. No, not a biscuit, a croissant or a whatever you're having for breakfast. Uncle, Uncle Brian. Uncle Brian. Yeah. Hello. I don't think Uncle Brian's painting, do you, really? No. Yeah. I would love to see Nikki, Brian, Saskia, Sam and Josh all getting out and giving me a paint. Come on. Good Come luck. on, people. Good luck, girl. <laughs> well, on Monday morning, Brisbane time, we're going to be doing breakfast sip of paint. And in, Austra in England, it's going to be an, a, Saturday, a Sunday night. You haven't really got work in the same way, have you? Because you're all ground down and working from home. So get your paints out, get some pencil. I want to see all those family dynamics and all those little groups. We're painting something from England. Haven't worked out yet, what? But it will be something from England. Okay, I'm not painting my circles, but I'm painting in between. So this one here. Oh, I'm already done, yeah. Well, I do this for a living, Harry. Welcome to, actually, I did do it for a living. At the moment, I'm making absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm making no money whatsoever. It's all so terrible. Ah, uh, it is what it is, isn't it? You got you, you can drive yourself crazy feeling sad and worried about it all. I uh, said to give you a tip. Uh, <laughs> Harry said, "Can you all give me a tip?" Okay, so here it is. Give me a tip, and Brian will give me straight up. The tip is stop talking more, less. <laughs> uh, that will be the tip from him. Okay, so I'm doing the top of my saxophone. And I'm going to do the mouthpiece. Dee, so you keep it up? Uh, yeah. Yep, good job. That's like really far ahead. So I did a sip and paint for David's soccer team the other day. All of his soccer team as a kind of soccer season kickoff. However, it did never kicked off, did it? I don't think I've actually played soccer because of obviously COVID-19. But, I, sh shush please, I'm talking. Huh, rude. Um, but uh, I have to say, David was a, a closet artist out of it and actually his mates were pretty impressed. So we'll see what his is like later. Okay, so we've done our saxophone. I'm now gonna start painting other bits in yellow. So I'm gonna do this bit up here in yellow. Guys, you can choose which sections. You can copy mine or you can choose your own sections that you're gonna paint in yellow, okay? I'm gonna paint this section down here in yellow. I've painted that, that, um, this is not Spanish music. I don't know what music it is. Spotify, Spotify Spanish music. Nothing Spanish. I haven't even heard a Spanish word yet. You don't know any Spanish words. I did try and say hello and welcome in Spanish. I went... Hola. Hola. Bienvenido. 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 No. Bienvenido. Bonjour, ça va? I can do it in French. Guten Tag. I can do it in German. All right, my lover, I can do it in Cornish. Can't quite master Spanish just yet. I need to speak to my beautiful Mexican friend, Gabby Lagos, and get her to teach me some Spanish, I think. Hi, Josh, hi, Saskia. I'm Steve's sister, he plays soccer. There we go, we've got Lisa Lambie on, on Steve's sister. Dave went, woo, lovely. It's like uh, viral, I, I know we don't like the word viral with a virus, but viral marketing on the World Wide Web is like COVID-19. You pass it to one, they pass it to two, they pass it to three, they pass it to nine, they pass it to 19. Love it, it's fantastic. Okay, so I've done my yellow. I'm now going to my second color. Guys, are you keeping up? No. Yep. Yeah? Okay, I'm moving on to orange. 
Oh, I missed out one step, sorry. I'm just taking the orange off. I want to paint the inside of my um, saxophone yellow. I missed that bit. Inside of that saxophone, painting it yellow. Beautiful. And now I'm going to, pardon? No, no, because we're going to paint black lines at the end. Hola, senorita. Thank you, Saskia. You're a dark horse, aren't you, eh? Obviously, with Sam, he's speaking a bit of the Espanola. She did. She just told me it was something senorita. Oh, she's saying hello, senorita. Oh, that's, not, that's hello to me, isn't it? Yeah. I know. Dime ball. Okay, orange. Here we go. I'm going to paint this part here. So, I want to add some sort of three dimension to my saxophone. So, I'm going to paint orange that side. So, I'm literally free-handing. Watch me. When I press the brush down, the brush bristles spray, splay out a little bit. Spread out. Spread out. That's the word. And you get a really nice, smooth line. So, I'm not having to go jug, 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 jug. I'm literally pushing the brush down and just dragging the brush along that purple line and getting a really nice orange line. And that's gonna be our three dimensions. And we're gonna do exactly the same on this side of our sax. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna color in one of the buttons in orange here. Just one half a button. Yeah, just half of it. And I'm gonna do one half up in my clarinet. I showed you in my um, I showed you in my welcome um, address that I had this really cool skirt on, and I just showed you my bum and gave it a wiggle and showed you it all. If you didn't see that, you'll have to rewind later to see that show. However, it was very amazing. It was very amazing. However, this skirt I made for a trivia night, and it's really really cool, and it's the Starry Night of Vincent Van Gogh, and I put LED lights in all my stars. And I had them on my booty boot as well. And, it, and I had, um, it had it all lit up. But I went to the toilet just before the live. And as I sat down, so I didn't touch anything, my battery pack fell out, smashed on the floor, and the cable broke. So I can't light you up tonight. I was hoping to really go, really go out there and light you up. So the only, the only lighting up is me tonight. All right, so here we go. Let's go back. I've got somebody... Saying hi to Saskia. Oh, it's Sky. Do you know Saskia? You can't know Saskia. That's weird. People are connecting. Okay, so I'm going to go to red next. Here we go. Red. I'm going to paint my guitar in red. So we're going to go, except for the, um, the stem of the guitar, the rest of it I'm going to go over in red. So I will be painting over the crisscross when we did our figure of eight. We're going to paint over that, but I don't want to paint the stem of it, kids, okay? So you're just painting the main bit of the musical instrument and you're not gonna paint the circle. So I'm just painting the outside bit of my guitar. Oh. And I'm not, you see where we did that division where we cut that bit? Don't leave that bit, go round it. The red or the pink? I'm using red. So you should be left with the stem of that big guitar handle. You know how we did the line? Yep. Do we do it underneath there? This one here? Yeah. No. You don't go underneath there, we go round it. I just did a bit of a blob there, but that's all right. So I'm not too stressed about that. Now you can see with my red, my red is a bit see-through, so I can see my figure of eight. I'm not worried about that. That just adds to the cubist lines that we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna paint red in here. A nice big piece of red there. Looking good, slash, slash, slash. Whoop. So Nikki, are you actually painting? That's my sister. Mum, are you painting? No. No? Do you reckon they are, Harry? No. No. Okay. And then I'm going to paint all this piece up here. So all this bit up here, I'm going to paint that red. I feel like Nanny is. You think Nanny is? Nanny's done some good work, hasn't Not she? Auntie Nikki. Not Auntie Nikki. This would be outside of her comfort zone, do you think? Yeah. Daisy said that, not me. <laughs> Uncle Brian. Wouldn't it be cool to see Uncle Brian paint? Yeah. It'd be so cool. He should video himself. He should video himself. We can hook him in on a live. Sam and Josh, they're my nephews. Something like 24 and 22. Not quite sure if I got that right, but sort of ish, something like that. 21 and 24. Pardon? They are my nephews. They live in Australia. Uh, they live in England. I said you don't know them. I don't. 
Oh, no, I know. So I think Sam was super lucky because Sam has just done a six month postgraduate placement down in Adelaide. And oh my God, he literally flew out just before we stopped any flights going. So he was super lucky, I reckon. Um, and obviously he's in quarantine at the moment in the Lever house, as he would be. We saw the news that old Boris has got it and a few others, so still raging on up there. Yeah, Boris Johnson's got it. Yeah. Prime Minister. Prime Minister. All right, so I've done that red piece. Done that, it's starting to look lovely. I'm pretty impressed. And I'm also gonna do red at the very bottom underneath my um, piano. Bit tricky for me because I'm, you know, I've got those little taggy bits there. Guys, if you're doing colored pencil or if you're just using textures and I'm going too fast because obviously paint is a bit quicker, then don't worry, you'll be able to catch this up, um, you know, after, after the live's finished. Sam, you're very lucky to get out. You're absolutely, you are very lucky. Nikki says, not today, but we'll have a go on Sunday. Ooh, will you? Check you out. And she says she doesn't have any paints in the house. Well, in the house, you work in the school. Why don't you get some from the school? Oh, I'm pretty sure that there's somebody somewhere that's got some paints. I can't believe you haven't got any paints. Of course you've got paints. Household paint will do. Or you could just draw. You could just draw and you could use whatever colour biros or whatever. I'll just quickly show you this. So if you don't have paints, I was showing the kids this on one of my other lives. You can make your own, not that you might not want to make your own, but these are my watercolour paints and they're made by finding the old um, felt tips, the insides of felt tips, I broke them up put them in some jars and I let them go overnight and I've got some watercolours. It's not as strong as acrylics, but it'll still work. So in desperate times of need, we're in wartime world here, people. We just go use what we can. Other than that, you could probably go upstairs and use your makeup, Nikki. That would work. You could use makeup. Um, or you could use food colouring. There are plenty of ways. You won't get the same colours necessarily, but you'll get some kind of image, okay? Josh is not renowned for his artistic ability. No, you're a piss art. That, sorry, I forgot I had the kids here. Um, your artistic ability. You don't need to be artistic. As my beautiful family are showing, it's step by step, bit by bit. You just need to have courage. Have courage, Josh. Nanny's painting. She bought paints from Amazon. Thank you for that top tip, Nanny. I'm pretty sure they are going wild with uh, shipping it out, aren't they? Okay, here we go. So we've done red, we've done yellow, we've done orange. No, you're not ready? Well, I'll keep going and you'll catch up, Paz, okay? Okay, I'm now going into pink. If you've got pink, if you haven't got pink, how do you make pink, Daisy? What colors would you need for pink? Yeah, red and white. Red and white makes pink? Remember, my children are 21 and 24 and we stopped coloring in a long time ago. 21 and 24. And Auntie Nikki said her children are 21 and 24. Oh. But that's okay, Nikki. It's time for us all to reconnect. Amazon, one day delivery to the rescue. Okay, so my family in Chippenham in Australia, uh, Britain, are gonna throw in the challenge and they're gonna do the sip and paint on Sunday night. Yes. And all my family are going, yes, they're gonna watch this so excitedly. Okay, we're gonna put some pink on now, people. So if you haven't got pink, then you can use um, white and red and you'll make pink. So I'm painting in that bit of the clarinet. I'm going to paint the stem bit there of the uh, saxophone. I'm going to paint one of the hearts, the bottom heart, I'm going to paint in pink. I'm saying that this isn't Spanish music. He's probably like Justin Bieber of Spain who's singing here. It's probably everybody's going, of course it's Spanish, it's the best. Spanish singer out? I've no idea. Doesn't sound very Spanish. Haven't, heard, haven't heard a Spanish word yet. <laughs> I don't know any Spanish words, Mark. I know I don't know any, but I know that that's not a Spanish word. Okay, I'm doing this pink piece down here. Well, could we like some words that you don't know? It sounds English. It sounds English. I thought the same, Daisy. Sounds like Eurovision Song Contest. Which is, pardon, Neil Point. Okay, I'm now moving into purple. Purple's going up here. 
We're speeding through now because we're just painting sections and it's super easy. The pa Pablo Picasso paintings are really, really easy because they're just sections. You can't really go wrong. And if your drawing doesn't look like the person next to you, don't take the mick. Be kind. These are your family. Loving watching my crazy niece and family. Love to all from Uncle Mike Sue, self-isolating in Torbay. Ah, oh, bless you, Uncle Mike. Cornwall misses you mind, I'm pretty sure. But uh, I'm glad that you're safe and happy and well up there. Okay, I'm going to go this other half of the orange. I'm doing that in purple. I'm also going to do purple in the centerpiece of this button for my clarinet. Good job. I'm going to do purple on this section of that funny little shape, that star shape there. And I'm going to use purple to paint in the center of my guitar hollow. So the round bit that we did a round bit earlier, we're going to paint that in purple. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Now, this is going to get a little bit, bit, a little bit tricky. We're going to try and make light purple. So I'm going to get my purple. What might I need to add to make light purple has? Huh? What do I need to add to make light purple? Red. Red, red will make it a reddier purple. How do I make it lighter? Oh, yeah, um, black. Thanks, Thomas, the 14 year old numpty. No, we don't use black, as he well knows. So don't put black in it, people, because that's really going to upset you. White, exactly, Daisy. White. Okay, so I've made my light purple, and I'm going that next shape there. Deeps, could you change the music? It is dreadful. Please. Belly dancing. This belly dancing is just off the word, off the scale. I need another wine. <coughs> Ruben's just joined me. Hi, Ruben. Love your coronavirus. Hang on, let me go and get mine. Here we go, Ruben. This was my coronavirus. <laughs> Did you see, Reuben, my monster make um, that I did yesterday? My monster make was the Harry Potter monster book of monsters. Did you see me make that? I reckon you would love it. Mum could definitely help you make that. I'm just going to show you that too. And who cares? It's a kid's activity. Good one. It's so, it was so much fun. Daisy and I loved making it. We made it together. Ready? Rawr! Rawr, rawr, rawr. How cool is that? And that's just egg boxes, a cereal box, cornflakes at the back, a bit of brown paper, and some old recycled bottle tops. All right? So there's another project for you, Ruben. Doesn't matter what. Doesn't matter what. It's so much easier. No, no, it doesn't matter what shade it is at all. Okay. Doing some more light purple. So I've done that piece up there. We're going to paint light purple in behind this whole area here. So it's to the... Underneath the guitar. Oh, that's much nicer, Deeps. Well done. This, this, <laughs> we've got Snoozeville Spanish music on, but it's nice and relaxing, people. Having a bit of therapy here. No. Nah. Well, pro probably the people that are painting at home. Solitaire and the girls, how are you getting on? How are you getting on? There were. They were the my ladies that were here last week when we did our painting. Oh, are they painting? They're painting, but they're doing it from their home because I said, unfortunately, we now have to self-isolate. I would love them to be here. They were, we had such a laugh last weekend, last week when we did it. We did the Venice picture together. Who uh, did? Just four of the ladies that have come to my sip and paints before. All right, so that's the purple. I'm going to make it go right down behind my heart there. So I've painted that whole section in purple. Beautiful, beautiful. And I'm going to paint this section down here in purple. What's the matter, Tom? Nothing. Nothing's fine. What's the matter, darling? It's fine. I just, um... You've done something wrong? Well, maybe no, no. Uh, I've just done different colours. If you've done different colours, that's fine. It really, really doesn't matter. As long as they are different colours in the different sections, that's what matters. Okay? Okay. That's all that matters, that you have different colours sat next to each other. <laughs> all right, so I've done that piece in purple. Oh, this is for you, Sam, Saskia and Josh. 
It's a long story. Okay, let's go and dance with the fam. Let's go and dance. Come on, fam. Let's see everybody dancing. Gotta pump it up. Come on, Dave. Concentrating, concentrating. Concentrating. Let's see their, let's see their artwork. David. Impressed. Has it? Oh, gosh, that looks gorgeous, Harry. Good job. Daisy. That's all right. Let it dry, pop it. Let it dry, and then you can rejig that, okay? Tom, how are you going? Are you enjoying yourself, darling? No. It's a good job. All right, we're coming back round. There's the picture of my cello. Cello, whatever it is, double bass. Double bass. Double bass. Double Mommy doesn't know, she's right. Okay, screw it back on, here we go. Okay, we're gonna move on to the green, people. Woohoo! get that change. This is a bit more funky, isn't it? Bum, 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 bum. No, it's not, it's fun. Bum, 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 bum. Went to the bottle, got myself some wine, went for the large size. Size and a half bottle. All for me. All for me. Okay. Dave, turn it down a little bit so I don't have to shout over it. Okay, we're ready for some green, people. Let's go green. Now, if you've only got one colour green, try and make a light shade and a dark shade. Add light, add white or a little bit of yellow. Add dark, get the green and add blue to it and you'll get a darker green. So I'm using the lighter shade and I'm painting all of that rectangle there into green. Okay kids, less of a singing. All right, so we've got the green there. Oh, now we've got silent. That's very eerie. And we're going to go green down this side, so this tiny bit the other side, we're going to do green as well. Whoop. What is this music? Spanish relaxation. No, you can, you can, I don't mind the fast music, Dave, at all. Honestly, you can put it back on, that's fine, but just not so loud, love, that's fine. Okay, so we've got our green in there. And now I'm going to add some more green in. So we're going to do half the green button. There we go, half the green button there. We're gonna do half a green button over here. We're gonna do half a green button up here. Doesn't matter if you choose different areas to do your greens, that's absolutely fine. Thomas has as well, that's okay. And we're gonna do this section here in green here. So all this bit here, we're gonna do in green. Does it need to be like darker or lighter? I'm using the light green. So it doesn't matter if you use the, use the dark green daisy, it doesn't really matter. So we're just hanging out as a family. Everybody's kind of obviously rowing every 10 seconds. We're pretending we're not, because everybody, of course, leave a one to vessel one over. <laughs> like it. Um, of course, we're all pretending we've got families that are perfect and we all get on perfectly. That's obviously not true. We're fighting over, you know, who left the toilet seat up and down as usual. That's not changed. Um, it is a bit more tricky in that David's working from home. The kids are obviously at home. I'm obviously at home. You can't make the kids be quiet all the time and neither should we. So it is a little bit tricky. We're trying to find a new kind of rhythm. Um, but we're doing okay. As it goes, we're doing okay. Beautiful. So I've got my green there. Got green there, and I'm going to paint this section here in green. Yep. So obviously, some of you heard about my making the face mask debacle. I am now no longer making face masks. Um, and you know what? Funny enough, as soon as I said I'm going to stop making fast face masks, I've had a million people asking me to make them for them, but I haven't. I've made them for our family just in case we do need to use them. We're prepared just in case. And the debate and the word is still out whether there's some benefit to it or not. And to be honest, that's not to worry about. But today I was approached by another lady, Diana Briscoe from The Gap, and she's gonna start a bunting project. She saw a program about post-war England and how um, 
after the war in the uh, victory celebrations. They put bunting up everywhere. Bunting um, in Aus sorry in English England we call it bunting in Australia we call it little flags. Um, it's not hugely popular down here, and people always know that I have bunting everywhere. I've got bunting up in my sew it corner over there. Mum, can you see it? Oh, there. Can you see it? It's my WI bunting. Is it my sew sewing booth? Um, and Daisy's got a uh, bunting that my mum made in her bedroom, which is gorgeous. But she was talking about doing a flag, um, uh, creating a community flag project where everybody creates their own flag or their string of flags in, in the gap and then we put them all together and they're kind of really happy, jovial, different types, um, painted, drawn, whatever. Um, and we're gonna have a great big kind of, I guess in the same as a VE party, we're having a corona, post-corona party. I know it sounds a bit weird, but I think actually, if we're gonna be like this for six months, to be honest, we are definitely gonna wanna celebrate when it's all over. So I'm helping her with that and I'm gonna be making some flags next week. So I'm gonna show you how to make some flags if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, maybe you fancy doing the same. Let's have a world global um, VE celebration kind of thing for post-corona. Okay, so we've done our green. And what I wanna do is add some dark green. So I do have a dark green. If you don't have a dark green, add blue to the green you had. And what we're gonna do is add in some dark green on top of the green. So I'm literally gonna paint it straight on top. I don't have a dark green. You don't have a dark green? I add blue to the green. Add blue to the green, has? You can make it. Or you can go up there, Harry. Harry, you can go up there and squirt some if you want. We're not going to use very much, so literally you can just add blue to you and it will make your own dark green. So I'm adding in some dark green there. And I'm just going to add some dark green as if these are the strings. So I'm painting them like the strings of the guitar. I'm just going to streak them on and I'm not going to, I don't want them to blend in. So I'm just streaking the dark green over the light green and they'll act like the strings. And then at the end of that uh, rectangle, I'm just going to do, I'm literally just using the paintbrush as a stamp and it's creating like a little circle shape. And these are going to be, I don't even know what the technical term is. They're the wibbly bits that you, the what? The turny things. The turny things. You, you're a bit, tuners. 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 I was going to say, she plays the violin. She should know the technical term for that. Should I? Yeah, I think so. Violin must have them as well. They've got turny things on the end, haven't they? Yeah. All right, beautiful. I'm now going to add dark green to this section here. So this bit at the bottom of my um, guitar, I'm going to add some dark green in there. Thomas, that's a very weird sound. What's going on? So when we were unpacking today, Another true story. I came across a, um, oh, Nikki said, fab idea. I did a whole load of school bunting project last year and they looked amazing and they're all very different. Awesome. Well, we'll definitely do that. Nick and mum are bunting experts. Well, perhaps you could make a couple of flags and send them to Australia and we could put them in. That'd be really cool. Um, yeah, so another true story from the Bessel household. When we were unpacking today, we found a Christmas present that I bought for David. Hmm. Well, I bought it in Sydney, people. So I bought it in Sydney. It's gone all the way to England, spent three years in our garage in England, has come back to Brisbane, and five years later, still hasn't been used. Possibly is out of date now. But anyway, it's a homemaking brewing kit. So in the way of homeschooling, I said to Thomas and Harry today, how about you do a chemistry lesson and you learn how to homebrew beer? Thomas's comment was, will we be able to drink it? And I went, yeah, you're not at school, of course you can. We'll make a handy shandy and you can have a shandy, put a bit of lemonade alcohol. with it. I know yeah. it's alcohol, but they'll be at home. They're not going anywhere. I'm a safe, responsible adult. Yeah, that, you know, different. would you like a wine, Daisy? Come share more with me. <laughs> can I some? No, you cannot. Okay, so we've done our dark green. How are we looking? Good, good, good? Yeah. Okay, I'm now going to use blue. So I'm using dark blue. Oh, I just dripped it on myself. And I'm gonna paint this section in here. So the bit in behind the guitar, I'm gonna paint dark blue. Super easy, it's just paint by numbers, people. Super easy. There is no reason why the Lever household shouldn't get amazing results. 
and then they'll be able to put them all around the house as a beautiful gallery. Nanny's got a gallery upstairs in her bedroom. Big sister Alison can keep her, create a little gallery if she wants. And let's see if David's family get in on the act. Okay, I'm gonna do blue here. I saw John Pierce hooked in earlier, Deeps, but he's not here now. He's gone off to the golf course, probably. I don't know if you're allowed to go off to the golf course at the moment. Probably not. Okay, just concentrating as I go around there, because if I go onto that yellow, it's gonna make a real mess. So I'm just carefully painting in that one there. Oh, just miss it across. Beautiful, loving it guys. And using that blue, I'm gonna paint in the last piece of my clarinet button up there. And I'm gonna paint the mouthpiece. I'm gonna paint this side here in blue, in the heart bit there. And now I'm going to make some light blue. So I'm going to use my blue, I'm gonna add white, and I'm gonna make a light blue. Use the blue, add white, and add some light blue. Now I'm going to paint this heart here in light blue. So the heart around the mouthpiece, I'm going for light blue around there. Double love, this is the heart going out to everybody in Spain whose numbers are rising, 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 rising. I'm sure the rest of the world have empathy with you because we're all in it together. Sorry, Daisy? Aren't they decreasing? No, apparently China is decreasing and I think possibly Italy's slowed down. To be honest, the numbers change so quickly. I'm not in time. Oh, I think that like the actual people living here. No, no, no. Okay, so we've done our light blue there. We're gonna put light blue down here to the left-hand side of the sax. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Mum, how are you doing? Am I keeping up with you? Hi, Julie, nice to see you. How are you? Gorgeous grandmother now. I've seen your little bubba. Well, not a bubba anymore, is he? Gorgeous little thing. Okay, so we've got one last color that we're going to use. And we're going to kind of mix this ourselves. So I want you to create an orange and a yellow together and you should end up with some really, really kind of bright sort of uh, tangerine orange, I guess. So the orange I used before was straight out of the tube and this color we're gonna mix and we're gonna mix it together. So I'm using orange and a little bit of the yellow together and I'm gonna paint in this color here. Now I've just switched brushes because that other brush was full of blue and I didn't want to make sure that this bit didn't go, because if I used that bluey brush, it would come out all brown and yucky. So I'm just switching it up. I want it to be brighter than that, so I'm gonna dip it straight into yellow and I'm actually gonna mix it on the canvas. Can you see that? So I'm just putting yellow straight on the canvas. So if you're feeling confident now you're doing it, just do that. Just get the color, put it straight on the canvas and mix it straight there. If you're not feeling confident, don't worry. Just do it on your palette. And I'm gonna use that color up here for that. This is my last little piece that I haven't colored in because I'm gonna keep my clarinet white. Okay, I'm gonna keep my clarinet white. Carolyn, you've missed the start. We'll have a go at this tomorrow. Fantastic, don't worry about that. Definitely, Carolyn. Can't wait to see what you do. Just about to pop out. I'll have to go for a lie down after. <laughs> oh, forgot. How are you, what do you mean you're just about to pop out? Uh, hang on, just about. I will have a lie down after. She's not popping out. Good. I was about to say, don't pop out. You're not allowed to pop out. Um, Nanny is not popping out, people. There's no popping out in Bodmin. Just checking it out. Can I just say, how fantastic was that NHS clap around? Oh my goodness. When I woke up the next day and saw all the videos, and in fact, we had it on our national news, um, footage from the BBC of people stood outside in the NHS and honestly it brought a tear to my eye I've got a lot of friends that still work for the NHS and obviously we've got a lot of friends that um, are you know needing the NHS so big love up to all of the health workers and do you know what it's not just the NHS Australian health workers health workers in every single country that are trying and fighting for on our behalf 
um, to keep people alive. You know, big love to you all. Okay, big love to you all. All right. So, has, are you guys all up with this? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to switch to my big square brush. If you haven't got a big brush, it'll just take you longer to paint. But I've got a big brush like this. I'm going to use my white. If, you, if you've got not much white left, you can always add a bit more white. And I want to paint. Oh, yeah, that's too blue. I need to get some more white. Do you guys need more white? No. no. Okay. Dave, do you need more white? I'm all white. You're all white. Did you hear what he said then? He's all white. Tom, do, Harry, do you need white? No? All right. So we're going to dip it in the white and we're going to paint vertically down in those spaces where the piano is. Vertically down. It's already white. I know it's already white, but you don't want it to be raw canvas has. So I'm just going to paint it down there. I'll go over the purple a little bit. That's okay. You want it to have the texture and you want it to be able to see paint. You don't want it to be raw canvas. So I'm just going to paint over. Oh, that went purple. Bad. I knew that would happen if I wasn't careful. Never mind. I'll just paint. Mine. Did it? Mm. Try and go between the lines, Harry. Doesn't matter if you do get a little bit. I mean, at the end of the day, this is a painting. It's not, you know, it's not the end of the world. So I'm just adding a bit more white and painting over, painting over those bits there. There, 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 and there. Be careful on the smoothie. Be careful on the small bits. Top tip from Hazza. Thanks, Hazzy Babe. Oh, that's a good tip. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, and then I'm going to switch brushes to my smaller brush. And we're going to paint in the clarinet. So I, the clarinet is actually going to stay white, okay? So we're going to paint in the clarinet. Just paint over the raw canvas. Go round your lines and paint over in white up there. Beautiful. Don't worry about um, the detail. We're actually going to black line all of this at the end. We're nearly there. I reckon in 10 minutes we'll be finished, people. So hang in there, hang in there, hang in there. And we're going to show everybody Bessel, Team Bessel's artwork in a minute. See no. what we think. No, why? No, you can't. Oh, not very good. doesn't matter. Who cares? You're having a go and you're having a night out, a Saturday night out with your mum and dad, Daisy. How cool is that? Yeah. You, you accidentally painted what? Okay. That's okay, don't matter. All right, so as with all these paintings, it's a little bit, 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 a little bit, 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 bit. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because we're going to use black. And as you know what I say about black, you can't go back, okay? So black is a little bit scary to use. Um, the only thing I'm not loving so much at the moment when I look at mine is I'm not loving the fact that I can see those purple lines. So I'm just getting a bit more red and I'm just going to do a second coat of red just over those purple lines there. So if you need to do that, help yourself, okay? Because the, the red I've got here is quite thin. And I don't mind that it's a little bit pinky there because I've got white on my brush, that's okay. I'm missing Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to paint in black. Now... For my friend in the gap who only has one big fat brush, your options are, one, let this dry and use a Sharpie. Two, let this dry, come and borrow a brush from me and paint it tomorrow. Three, paint with a big brush, don't give a monkeys and keep drinking your wine. I'm gonna opt for three. All right, let's keep painting. So, with paintings like this, we're gonna start from the top and work our way down. So, I basically want to draw, it's a cubist painting, the lines are nice and strong and nice and regular. So you're going to need to keep on dipping into your black each time you've painted something. You want to dip it back in the black. And this is where you can hide all the mistakes you've made. If you've gone outside your lines, these black lines will bring it all together. But because our paint is still a bit wet, like that white, every time I'm touching that white, it's making my paintbrush great. Ooh, that was a, look at that. If I put that on there, that would have been a real nightmare. Hang on, let's get rid of that one. Okay. So I'm painting my lines. Deeps, so you keep it up? Well, I use a small brush. Use a small brush, Thomas. This is like doing, you know, outlining. If, you, if you're using um, colored pencils, it would be really good if you had a black texture, perhaps. 
to do your outlining afterwards. The, the key to cubism is these cubist lines. It's all the cutting up and the jiggling and joggling of all the pictures. It is a bit scary, Daisy. You're going to have to be bold. If you want to stand up, that's a good idea. Okay, I'm just going to take you around and show you. Three sounds good. Good for you. I'm just going to show, look at my look at my gorgeous children. Look, concentrating so hard, working away. Has he's there? He hasn't even touched his pizza. Look, he's just so in the moment. And my darling husband. <laughs> oh, God love them for coming. I said, this is a really nice activity. It'd be so fun. Soccer's tomorrow. There isn't any soccer. Actually, I, to be fair, I've come and watched so many soccer matches in my time, Thomas. It's about time you come and did this. All right, so I'm doing the rest of the clarinet, following that line. If you've enjoyed today, even if you're just watching and thinking I'm barking mad, which obviously, you know, just saying the gene pool is from Cornwall. I do come from Bobbin. <laughs> uh, what can I say? Um, anyway, if you think, if you have enjoyed it, I am doing this for free, but you can pay me with love and kindness. Put a recommendation on my, um, at you create art at home, um, share the love, pass this around, uh, the more people I get doing this around the world, the more beautiful it's going to be. One, it's going to give them something to do in this terrible time of lockdown. But two, it's going to make me feel like I'm not just doing it to myself, which often, I don't mind talking to myself. I do talk to myself a lot. But I prefer to be talking to someone. Sorry, just going to stand right in front of you right now because I need to do that swoopy line there and I can't do it from the edge. Uh, I'm just not talking there. Thank you. Okay, and now I'm going to do this swoopy line that goes across. If when you're painting, sometimes you run out of, it starts to get dry as you drag it across the canvas, you don't often need more paint. Just dip it back in the water and keep painting. You'll find you've got quite a lot of paint in your paintbrush. Less so with a small brush, but even so. Just keep on painting across. You want it to be a nice, smooth line. Uh. Sorry. Oh my God. Did you hear that? That was my daughter. My beautiful daughter just belched <laughs> live to the world. <laughs> you know, obviously this is rough and natural as it comes, yeah? So are some of the piano keys going to be black? Yeah, mum, they are. But obviously if I painted them right now, mum, they'd be grey. So we're starting at the top of the canvas, mum. So when we get down to the bottom, mum, the white will be dry. <laughs> but thanks for the point. Top tip from Pamela there. Okay, so I'm now, remember we had dark purple and light purple? We're going to do that. The pink panther mini music, yeah. Perfect saxophone music for our saxophone painting. Is this about? No, it's not about saxophone, it's just musical instruments. Okay, so just painting in that line there. And now I'm going to paint in this line here. Following that curve. Okay, now I need to start painting in my, around my guitar. So here we go. We're going to go the outside edge first. Is it too fast for you, Tom? Mm -hmm. Struggling? How are you going, Dee? Dee Deeps needs more beer. <laughs> are you enjoying yourself, love? Hey? David! Everyone's enjoying everything about it. Everyone's enjoying everything about it. Deeps, Deeps. It's a great Saturday night with me. It's a great Saturday night with me. Who knew? Some of the keys... No. So, are some of the key... Oh, I've already answered you. Yeah, they are. No one's commenting because everyone's focused. Everyone's focused, I know. The black lining is something that you can't do. You can't just whip it up, people, can you? You've messed up? You can't mess up. It's a Picasso. Picassos are the best paintings. You can't get them wrong. Rude. Looking at Tom. <laughs> Why did you laugh about that one? <laughs> it's more like looking at mine. What? My um, saxophone kind of looks like a duck. 
You've got a duck saxophone. Thomas has got a ukulele. <laughs> this one time in band camp. Oh Say no God, more. You're just good. Yeah, Dad's a bit of a closet doer, to be fair. He's focusing on the anomaly that's trying to make the first thing. That's been married for almost 20 years. 20 years? Actually, I'm not sure. Hang on, let me think. Um, I don't know. Dave, how many years we married? He said too long. It's never too long with me. Mm. Today, when we were unpacking, shall I share them with it? Wait, with them? No. So it's, no. Why? So the show, tell them about the um, thing you read out to me and Tom. To, to list about why you want to go around the world? No. <laughs> Wait, what was that? I won't, I won't share that because it was actually rude. 21 years, my mum told me. Thanks, mum. So I read a letter to Thomas today, and it was a love letter that I wrote when I worked at Gateways in Bodmin. So Gateways was before Summerfield, so we're now talking... Oh, or in between the lines. Can you remind me, did you paint the whole bottom piano white? Yes, I did. We're going to come back to that later on. C -re -b. I don't know what C -re -b stands for, but anyway, we're going to come back to that. I'm letting it dry, because otherwise if I paint the black on top of that, it's going to go grey, all right? So I just painted it white, and now we're doing all the line work first. Okay, I want to show you something. So I'm just painting the top of my saxophone, and that, the curve there. Now, watch what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to go from this curve, and I'm going to do a spiral. Okay, now I'm not going to paint it perfectly the first time. So after we've painted it in, we're then just going to, once you've got where your spiral's going to go, then you can paint it nicely afterwards, okay? You're just going to paint, just going to paint it. Yeah, I know. Everyone's going to be slightly different and that's fine. That's why I'm so wonky. It's okay, Daisy, it's fine. You're having a beautiful Saturday night with your family. We're locked down in the studio across the road from our house. What's not to love? They're laughing at me, Mum. They're laughing at you? Daisy, be kind. Just because yours is shit, leave him alone. So it'd be quite nice if my twin sister, who lives in Abu Dhabi, it'd be quite nice if her and the Abu Dhabi crew were able to come on board and do a little paint party with me. Don't you think that's going to happen? Why? She's mad. Probably because she can't get um, internet access or whatever over there, maybe. So we've done all those purple lines. So really, this is super easy. You're just following in your purple lines and going over the top. And I'm keeping really, really, really steady with my lines to get a really nice flow. And I'm keeping my black... Ooh, there's a big lump. I'm keeping, keeping my black nice and moist. Oh, that's a terrible word. Oh, I've got a friend, I've got a friend in Australia. She's Dutch and she absolutely hates the word moist. She reckons it's the worst word in the English language. Moist moist because you say when well, you, you say moist about a lot of things in private areas it's not a nice word oh. yeah it's not nice <laughs> oh my god my daughter's not only is she belching she just got the giggles <laughs> yeah. you made me. i made you i made you paint outside your lines yeah <laughs> All right, we're nearly there. I've nearly done the saxophone, and then we're gonna. How are you doing, guys? You need to done all your black lines. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it suddenly really separates the colours when you do the black lines. It really divides it up and creates that kind of cubist look that we're looking for. Oh, I've got a big drip there. I'm going to just run with the drip and paint into it. 
big hop. Who's having a game? Okay, do the mouthpiece, do the bit there. I don't have a mouthpiece. I can't wait. You, you haven't got a mouthpiece? You yeah. Can have, you have? No. I've, I've paid for Why? Because you didn't like it? No, it's just gone. Well, just use your black lining to put it back in, Thomas. No. And then it'll be a blue mouthpiece. That's okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. Well, it's too bad. It's just blending. Yeah, it's fine. At least it's there. Yeah. Okay, nearly there. I'm probably going to be painting faster than you guys at home. That's okay. I've had much more experience than you guys at home. They've Having got the They've got the benefit of putting me on mute. Rude. David Bessel. And for that, I might talk to you all night long in bed. Mum, they can't even hear you because I'm mute. Because I'm on mute, I know. Mute. Mute. I'm on mute. Moot, moot me, it's rude. Hi Beth, how are you? Good to see you back. Beth Woolley from Bodmin. Gorgeous oh, friend. Anna's daughter? No, Beth isn't Anna's daughter. Beth is a friend that went to school with me and David. Oh. And her gran lived up Castle Street and knew Len Bessel really well. Oh. And she lived in, I, I think we went out, we, you met her once yeah, exactly. when we went up to gymnastics in Bodmin, Daisy. Uh -huh. Her they just come back from Peru. They used to live in Peru. The two girls were born to a Peruvian dad. I don't remember that. You don't remember that? Okay, so I've done all my black lines. I just now need to do the uh, arm of the guitar. I went a bit wobbly there, so I'm gonna have to go in front of it. Just going in front, just so I can do that straight edge. <laughs> Okay, just doing that straight edge. I can't do it from an angle, so I need to come in front here just to get that straight edge of that guitar. Okay, and the last little bit up here, from there up to there. Tom. Harry, could you be quiet, please? Thank you. Stop saying Tom, Tom, Tom. Okay, so now we're on to the um, piano at the bottom. The first thing I'm gonna do is do the line to put in where that piano is. We're about two minutes from finishing, people. About two minutes from finishing. So soon we're gonna finish, and you'll be able to go back to your lovely day. In England, you'll be off. Oh, well, you are, I'm not gonna say you're gonna be off out and about, because you won't be, but you'll start the rest of your day. I don't know why I'm hurrying. You've got nothing to do, have you? Yeah. Everybody's just at home, kind of filling up their day. Okay, let's do the curve there. Okay, now I'm going to do the bottom line. The more you talk, the more, the more they have to do. And the bottom line under here, push it pushing it down nice and neatly. Use your brush to create that really nice line. I think I can't. Doing art stereotypes. Got a bit of grey happening there, so I'm trying to just get rid of that. And that's the thing, don't look at everybody else's. At the end of the day, when you come to these sip and paint parties, everybody looks at each other's. But when you go home, the painting is just yours, hang on your wall. Nobody's gonna see anyone else's. And to be honest, 90% of the world, oh my goodness, Dapes, I need your help. I need some battery, it says low battery. Quick, low battery, low battery, low battery. Oh my God. I've got my trusty IT help desk. He's gonna hook me up with some battery. Ah, can you imagine if I wasn't, couldn't finish the end of my session with you? Just be awful. David said, how lucky. Stick it in my hole, David. Stick it in my hole, quick. To the left. Ow! He just smacked my bum. He just smacked my bum. So rude. Keeping it real, baby. Keep it real. The love is still with us. Okay, so I've done that black line. Okay, now do your lines going down to separate your keys. Down there. And down there. 
Friday. Harry. Thank you. And this is the problem. You might end up with a little bit of grey lineage because some of your white might be still a bit wet. But you know what? After we finish, if you really want perfect black, you can always go back and re paint it okay I can still see my purple lines so I'm just following my purple uh, vertical lines down you can help yourself to more black here okay nearly done that's a bit gray so I'm gonna overpaint those two like that beautiful okay now we're gonna do the black part of the keys and from my little knowledge I have, they go to the left hand side of the key. And these ones are the long bit. So I'm gonna do a long bit of black there. I am not a pianist, I do not play the piano. But I did double check how the piano goes. So here is the second bit of the key here. So they go in groups of three and two. You go in groups of three, so this is the third key in that bar, I guess it's a bar, I'm not sure. Well that's the third key. Then you miss a key and then you do a double. So it's three, miss one. Daisy, shush please. And then there's a double. Okay, then I miss a key, and now I do another three. One, two, oh, I've got too much paint on the end of this. One. And obviously when they're shorter, they're slightly different shape, but hopefully the piano will read. That, that one there's got too much white on it, so I'm just trying to white it off. Then you miss a key. Because my white is still wet, it's making grey, so I'm sorry about that, but I'm obviously conscious of time. Okay, so that's three, then I'm going to miss one, and then it's a two. And then a miss one, and then it's a three. So that's kind of our piano. And I think these ones here I might make a little bit bigger, just so they show up really well. And then miss one, and then that one there. Short, short, good. So that's my piano. And then the last thing I'm going to do on this is a couple of highlights and lowlights. Um, okay, here we go. I'm just going to add in some little black lines that are going to show the movement. Okay, that's that bit there. I'm going to do a couple of lines around my, my guitar. I'm going to do a couple of lines here around my clarinet. Again, my clarinet's a bit, ooh, that's too much of a lump. My clarinet's a bit wet, the white is, so it's sort of making grey, but that's okay. So that's my clarinet. Now, Pablo Picasso doesn't have this on his, but I am going to put a couple of notes. If you don't want to do this, don't do this. If you want to do this, do this. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to put a little bit of music on mine because I think it just adds that finishing touch that, actually, to be honest, Pablo Picasso should have. I mean, what sort of artist is he, for goodness sake? He yeah. should have put in a couple of notes. Pardon? What did you say? Oh. Okay, and then I'm going to do a treble clef here. I spent a long time learning how to do a treble clef. It's a curve and up, and it swirls up there like that. It's about as tricky as drawing a, an English pound sign when you're a kid and you're trying to learn how to do a pound sign. So I'm just adding in those. They are my touches to this painting, just to add a little bit of personalization. And now I've pretty much finished with the black. I'm just going to add in a couple of white highlights and then we've finished. 
Um, just adding in some white highlights. This will help to just bring it forward, bring the bits forward. So I'm gonna add a couple of highlights around the inside of my guitar. I'm gonna add a couple of little spots there as if that's where the strings go into it. And I'm gonna add some white spots there. White spots there. And I'm gonna, just gonna do some white lines across where the, I guess they're called the bars or where you put your fingers. I'm gonna do a couple of little white highlights on my saxophone. Woo, that's too much white. Doesn't matter where you put your highlights in, put them wherever you want to. You can copy mine if you want to, but you, you kind of get a feel for where you think highlights should be sometimes. And if, if there's an area that's too flat, then you might just want to put in a few dots, a few dashes. I'm going to put in a couple of little highlights on those hearts. This isn't in the normal picture at all. This is Karen Karening it. And at the bottom of this, I'm just going to sign it K for Karen, E for Elizabeth, which is my middle name. And ever since I've been painting, I've always used my maiden name. So K-E-S is my signature, Karen Elizabeth Selly. And that is my painting. That is my Picasso painting tonight. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've had lots of fun. How long has it taken us? It's taken us... Oh, my battery's run out. What's the time? 8.27. 8 so it's taken us about an hour and 10 minutes, which is pretty good going. I hope you've had a great time. Please give me a like. Please send me a review. Um, and please send me the pictures of your paintings. I'm just going to take you for a quick walk around so you can see how everyone else's is. I mean, they're going to be finishing up theirs. But yeah. let's have a look, shall we? Oh, David's just on the tricky bit of the piano. That looks gorgeous, darling. Well done. Are you pleased? Thank you. You're welcome. Good job, Hazza. He's kept up with me brilliantly. Look, here's his painting. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah. Oh, good job. And Daisy's. Beautiful job, Daisy. Awesome. And T-Bob. Good job. Are you going to hang that in your new bedroom? No. Uh, oh, looks great, buddy. Under my bed. Daisy. Under your bed? Yep. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so that is another You Create Art at Home. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you've had a great time. I've loved spending the evening with you. I've got posy cheeks from too much wine. Um, I just want to show you this. This is the lineup for the next couple of days. Um, I'll take a photograph of that, but that shows you tomorrow we're going to do 10 o'clock. We're going to do eco art on a nice walk. Then we're going to do our daily doodle panda drawing. 7 a.m. on Monday is the sip and paint. Early one for me, but it'll be evening for you guys. 10 a.m. we're going to do shaving foam marbling, followed by the daily doodle. We're going to draw a dolphin. And then on Tuesday, 10 a.m. we're doing Play-Doh sculpture. 2 p.m. we're doing a daily doodle of Olaf. And then we're going to do a messy make. We are making a lightsaber. To make a lightsaber, kids, you're going to need some of these things. Some inner toilet rolls. A long one if you've got it. If not, we'll make it out of a roll. Some bits and pieces that are going to give us shape. These are just bits of cardboard. You can cut your own if you want to. I'm using a chopstick, a straw, some buttons or an egg, and I'm using some matchsticks. All of that together will turn into this. Whoa. There's my prototype. On, on that note, I will say, may the force be with you. Thank you for coming tonight. I've had such a laugh. See you later. Bye.